So this is the resurrection remix ROM second build on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And to be specific, this is the 4th February 2019 build. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how this ROM is holding up. And I have been using this ROM for almost two days now. And I have to say the ROM feels a lot more stable than it was previously. And today I'm gonna show you the cons, the pros of this ROM. So first of all, the first change you will notice over here from the first build is right now this ROM has the Mi A2 camera built in. So this is a really great move by Resurrection Remix team in my opinion and I really like the Mi UI camera that it is a stock camera in this ROM over here. Now let me talk about the second thing over here and by the way this camera, the Mi A2 camera does work super fine flawlessly, portrait mode and stuff, everything works, you don't need to worry. Now the second thing which still disappoints me is this ROM does not have camera to API by default. If you want to enable it, you won't find any camera to API toggle in the settings. So if you want to enable camera to API in this ROM, you have to flash magic. So even if you install Pixel 3 cameras, this won't simply start. As you can see, it just four stopped. I have installed the APK, but it's not even starting. As you can see, it says camera keeps stopping. So no camera to API present in this ROM. And if you want camera to API, you have to flash magic. So now the second good thing over here is the Google Pay. Well, whenever you flash the ROM, you will notice right away that you can set up Google Pay and it should be working super fine like this and no issues whatsoever regarding Google Pay. I think all other banking apps should be working super fine too. Now let's talk about the stock launcher. The stock launcher is still trebuchet launcher, not the quick step launcher. So no double tap to sleep on the home screen over here. Even if you double tap, it won't work. But we do have the Google Now cards to the left and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen and it does not work sometimes but most of the times it does work as you can see i can like go to the quick settings panel by just swiping down on the home screen like this and let me show you the launcher settings quickly let's go to home settings here you will find this grid size add icon to home screen show icon labels on or this kind of stuff are present but not like too much customization like the quick step launcher so that that's what i miss over here and in terms of the weather kind of thing the lock screen weather well i did enable it but this is kind of broken no it's not 11 degrees celsius right now i have been seeing this like from two days now and it's been like there for like forever 11 degrees celsius so in my opinion it's kind of broken or it's simply not working sometimes so that's how it is if you're into lock screen weather kind of stuff just keep that in mind now let me talk about the vaulty well the vaulty icon over here looks like the oneplus kind of vaulty icon and this caller ui or in call ui if you like call it that way the in call ui does have the call recording option the vaulty calling on both the scenes does work fine and right now it does have call recording which it didn't previously and if you are on f2fs or if you want to flash this ram on f2fs storage this will work fine because this supports f2fs but i'm not in f2fs right now i'm using ext4 still now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app one of speeds right now so as you can see this does do the android pie kind of animation over here now let me open all the apps again so as you can see all the apps are in memory and the ui feels super smooth whenever like whenever you open apps from memory so i have zero complaints regarding ram management or even app opening up speeds as you can see everything is pretty fast and you can switch between apps just like this so it's pretty cool now let me show you the about section quickly over here and one more thing that is fixed right now the night mode well the live display was not working previously i guess now you can just turn it on and off by like switching this live display and you can do it from the display settings too but i am doing it from adding this toggle as you can see i have added this toggle from this edit option and right now the live display in night mode and stuff does work as you can see the display is kind of yellow right now you can turn it off just like this by just putting it in automatic or just like put the live display into off and screenshots and stuff does work from this toggle too and i think this three finger screenshot gesture yeah the three finger screenshot gesture works but it does like show up the touches inside system let's go to advanced no camera to api toggle is present over here 
that is a really disappointing thing but i really hope that this rom comes with camera to pi in the future now over here we have the updates option you can check for updates from here whenever a new update is available and we have the gestures and stuff normal stuff if you swipe all the way up it will get you to the like what's this the app drawer and the calculator and stuff the default apps looks pretty cool as you can see this is kind of a dark themed calculator and i really like it and the app opening up animation as you can see it looks pretty cool now let me go back to the settings again let's go into about phone now inside android version here on top it shows the resurrection remix logo of course and this is the like this is where you will see the resurrection remix version actually this is the 3rd february 2019 but on the file name it shows 4th february i don't know why it's happening but yeah that's how it is the version is 7 based on android 9 of course the security patch is still of january 5th 2019 vendor security patch is january 1st 2019 and based on derp kernel version 4.6 and here's the build number and stuff so that's how it is i feel the rom is pretty smooth right now and it's almost like over there to daily drive and inside resurrection tools you will find all the customizations and this almost has everything double tap to sleep on the status bar is there and even brightness lighting option is there as you can see i'm controlling the brightness from the status bar so these features are there now let me show you quickly the face unlock well is it working yeah it's working now let me show you from resurrection tools go to lock screen settings and from here just make sure you have un like enabled this face auto unlock option and others charging info and stuff like a lot of customizations are present over here of course now go to security then go to smart lock let me enter the pin quickly so now let's tap next here you will see trusted face and i did flash micro gfs by the way here you will see the trusted face next and let me set up my face it's done now so let's go to home quickly and let me unlock the phone and as you can see it unlocks almost right away with the face unlock so as you can see my five fingers are over there i'm not touching the finger scanner and boom it unlocks let's try it again boom it unlocks so the face unlock does work and inside display settings you will find some like pretty cool things let me show you those and here you will see this live display option and you can even change this color profile make sure you do it otherwise the display kind of will be like this this is not pure white this is kind of yellow in my opinion and you can change it to like automatic and stuff but i'll suggest you set the display mode to off color profile to standard in this way you will get the best whites or the blues if you want to call it that way and color calibration you can really control the rgb of the screen and picture adjustments you can control the hue saturation intensity and contrast in depth so this is a pretty cool feature let's go back inside style we have like the display themes and stuff so here you will set you can set the automatic wallpaper automatic time of the day light and dark option for the theme and you can even choose from these many accent colors over here we have the dark green pink purple blue cyan green orange yellow red etc and you can set everything to be automatic so that it can match your wallpaper and stuff i guess and we have the dark mode option so from here you can choose the dark mode to be black or like default dark so you can choose from those and over here what else we have the double tap to wake too if you want to use that you can use that from here and double tap to sleep is of course there we have the font manager over here you can choose from these many fonts there are not much options like other roms like havoc os but yeah this is how much fonts you have like all over the ui so pretty cool in my opinion and over here what else should i show you we have the full screen apps and stuff so that's how it is and auto brightness over here is present and auto brightness just, just works fine you don't need to worry and regarding the battery life i will say that battery life is pretty good as you can see i have used the phone for what almost 55 minutes and i got around 86 percent battery left right now so if you calculate that it's 14 percent of usage for 55 minutes of battery life so that's how it is and i will say that the battery life is not too great 
but it's pretty usable like i am getting around six and a half to seven hours of screen on time so that is pretty useful for me and it has like all those good customizations like the long press for like toggle torch and over here as you can see the device is kind of locked over here let me do it again and right now the device is locked and if i hold the power button for a little bit of time and as you can see the device is still locked and i have my like torch turned on and i can even press and hold it again to turn it off so these features are pretty useful in daily driving for me at least and i feel this rom is great for these things and if you want to know about the advanced reboot and stuff you won't see any separate advanced reboot option over here but whenever you tap restart it's gonna show you this system recovery bootloader and other stuff and if you want to see the sound settings over here let me tell you that there is no audio direct settings over here as of now so you will you won't find the audio direct over here option over here so if you want audio direct just flash some other roms not this one so this one does not have the audio direct but it does have like pretty good amount of customizations regarding sound you can disable the charging sound and stuff over here as you can see the screenshot taking sound and touch sounds and stuff you can disable these but no audio direct so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video and the rom really feels super smooth now and if you want to daily drive with this rom you can pretty much do it like without any issues so that is all i had to say about this rom guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now